Carnivore Day 35. It has been a week, guys. So it's Monday. Uh, it's been five weeks on Carnivore. And I'll tell you, it. Uh, I did meal prep last week. And from a convenience standpoint, it was great. Right? I like meal prepping because I don't have to worry about cooking throughout the week. However, uh, by the end of the week, I was really kind of like not feeling the food. Right? Um, I was heating up my... my uh, my meal prep yesterday, which is like the final meal prep that I had for um, for the week, and it was dry, and I just I didn't enjoy it like I enjoy a fresh cooked steak. So I'm going to uh, I found a distributor, and I'm going to get hooked up. I'm going to get a, basically a 15 pound slab of ribeye that I'm going to need to cut myself. And the cool thing is that I'm going to get a consistent price of like 13.99 a pound, which is pretty decent for ribeye. It's going to cut my costs down a little bit. I can also, uh, I've got cheaper cuts with New York strip. So that's really nice. Uh, so I can mix that in as well. So I'm pretty excited about how that's all going to uh, pan out budget wise, as well as taste. Uh, but from a time perspective, I'm going to have to suck it up and cook my food um, the day of. So no big deal. You know, you live and you learn. Um, I still need to try the, uh, the sous vide and I still need to try the air fryer. Now, the air fryer is gonna be um, a lot easier, I think, because as I'm cutting all of these steaks, I'm gonna freeze them instead of having them sit in the fridge like I've been doing. And um, it's gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna do the, the Michaela Peterson. Um, if you guys don't know, check her out. Uh, she cured a lot of her uh, autoimmune system issues with the carnivore diet, right? And her, her, uh, her dad, Jordan Peterson, who is an amazing, uh, Canadian uh, psychologist, psychiatrist, uh, clinical psychiatrist, right? And just brilliant dude, public speaker, uh, love his work, love a lot of the ideas that he has. Point is that uh, they both cured a lot of their health issues by going pure carnivore. And while, you know, Jordan doesn't seem to be as, I would say, enthused with the diet as Michaela is uh, from, a, from some of the interviews that I've, I've heard, it's way, way, way worth being out of pain and the health benefits that he's gotten from carnivore. So point is that I'm going to use her technique, which she says, to take the steak frozen, throw it in the air fryer, and it turns it into like it's, it's like the perfect cut because you can throw, like it keeps the inside red and like tender while the outside is, is like perfectly, perfectly cooked. So I'm going to try that, and then I'm hearing so much about chuck roast and the crock pot. So I'll be doing that this week. We'll do a crock pot chuck roast closer to the end of the week, and that should help me through the weekend, because weekends are usually the time when things go off the rails a little bit. So uh, I went out to a, uh, Coronado. We did a beach event with Unbroken Fitness Solutions, my gym, and all of our members, and I was out of the house all day long and we went out afterwards to a pub called McPee's out in Coronado. Some of you guys that are frequenters of uh, San Diego have probably heard of it. Awesome pub. Awesome pub. Go to McPee's if you haven't already. Uh, they got great environment, great food. But um, I don't get. I got to enjoy three hamburger patties and I'll tell you by the time I was done with those things, wow, I was stuffed. So great opportunity to be able to just get something on the go. Burger patties. Uh, when you're in a clinch and you don't have a lot of the options that you might have when you're, you've got your kitchen at home. So eating out on carnivore. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for today. We've got, uh, I'm on day 35 right now and we're, uh, we'll check you, check back in tomorrow. Take care.